Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go to the Before we start the Egyptian reactions, we're going to recap the Alkene family. The Alkene family are a homologous series which has the general formula CnH2n. They're an unsaturated family and all members of the family contain the carbon to carbon double bond functional group. Because of this, they can undergo addition reactions. One very important addition reaction is the test for alkenes, which is that they will decolorize bromine water rapidly. Addition reactions occur when a small molecule adds across a double bond or a triple bond. Addition reactions with the alkenes remove the unsaturation that is present by saturating the double bond. We're going to look at three types of addition reactions today. Hydrogenation, halogenation and hydration. The first one we're looking at is the addition of hydrogen or hydrogenation. When you take an alkene and you add hydrogen across the double bond, you get the corresponding alkene. For example, if we take ethene, and we add hydrogen, which is a diatomic molecule, we get ethene. Pause the video now and try these examples. In the first example, we have propene. When we add hydrogen across the double bond of propene, we get propane. So we simply add a hydrogen to each of these carbons and ensure that all carbons have four bonds. If we take this example here, we have 2 ethyl, 4 methyl, hex 1 e. For a reminder on how to name branched alkenes, the video will be linked down below. For adding hydrogen, we're going to add a hydrogen to each of these carbons here where the double bond is. So we can draw this out using short and structural formulae as is shown here. So we're going to add a hydrogen to that carbon and we're going to add a third hydrogen to the end carbon. We can then go in and put in the branches that are shown. For naming this, we have to be careful. Whilst this was the longest chain initially because it had the double bond and was more important, the longest chain has now changed. The longest chain is now this one here, which contains seven carbons. So this changes the name of this molecule. This molecule will now be numbered from here, as this is the end closest to one of the branches. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this name is now based on heptane. The branches are on 3 and 5, and they are both methyl branches. So the corresponding alkene to this alkene, once we've saturated it, is 3,5-dimethylheptane. Let's have a look at our final example. So, we need to draw this out as full structural formula. So, pentene is based on five carbons. We have a double bond on the second carbon and we also have a methyl group. We can then go in and put all of our hydrogens in. So 
So now when we add hydrogen, we're going to add a hydrogen to each of these two carbons here. So for naming this, we have our longest chain through the middle, which is still five carbons, and we still have a branch on number two. So this is two methyl pentane. Our second addition reaction is that of a halogen. This is halogenation, and by adding a halogen to an alkene, you get a disubstituted haloalkene. The most important example of this reaction is when we add bromine. The bromine-bromine bond means that bromine is brown. It is only brown when it is joined together. When you break this bond to allow it to add on to an alkene, you no longer have the brown colour of bromine. This is where the decolorizing of bromine occurs. Each of your carbon atoms where the double bond is now has a bromine atom attached, hence the di-substituted haloalkane. You have two halos attached to your carbons. Because we've broken the BrBr -BR bond, this now no has no colour. The same reaction can occur for any of the halogens, which are all diatomic molecules. Pause the video now and draw the reactions shown. So in this first reaction we have propene and we're adding chlorine onto it. So you'll end up with a Cl atom on each of these carbons. Everything else around the carbons stays the same. Here we have butene and we're adding fluorine. So again, everything else around the carbons stays the same. But we add a fluorine atom to each of them. Our final example of addition is that of addition of water. This is hydration. When you add water, a hydrogen atom joins onto one carbon and the OH joins onto another carbon of the double bond. I'm going to show you two examples of this. When you have a symmetrical alkene, such as ethene, you only get one product. So like before, we keep everything the same, we take out the double bond and the hydrogen will attach to one and the OH will attach to another. If you have an asymmetrical alkene, such as propene, then more than one product can form. This is because there are two places that the OH could attach and you would end up with two different alcohols. You can see this when you then try to name the isomers that form. So if we add the hydrogen onto this carbon and the OH onto this carbon, we get propan 2 all. However, we could also add the hydrogen onto the middle carbon and the OH onto the end carbon and get propan one all. This only happens for asymmetrical alkenes. 
pause the video now and try these examples. So in this first example we have a symmetrical alkene, this is but 2 ene This means that the OH could go into either carbon and will always get the same product. So we're always going to produce butan 2 ol In this example, we have an asymmetrical alkene. We have pent 1-ene. So we have two products that could form. So in our first product, we could have the hydrogen on the end carbon and the OH on the second carbon. And we would get pentan 2 -ol. Or we could have the OH attached to the end carbon and have the H attached to the second carbon and we would be left with pentan 1 all. Try this recent exam question. So limonene, which structure is shown here, has the formula C10H16. It's an essential oil which gives cleaning products a lemony scent. And you're to write the molecular formula for the product when limonene, which is C10H16, reacts completely with bromine solution. What you need to notice is that you have two double bonds here, which means that when this reacts with bromine, you're going to have a bromine molecule react with each of the double bonds. So you're going to gain four Br atoms when this is completely reacted with bromine solution. That means that your formula will be C10H16Br4. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for regular updates on new videos and flashcard quizzes. Bye for now.